kindergartners, it's Mrs. Thomas Moore here, and we are in week six, day two of our distant learning. Today, our lesson is going to be about patterns, which is our SOL K.1.3. And in that SOL, it states that we will be able to identify, describe, extend, and create and transfer repeating patterns. But before we get that, get there, we're going to do something else. That's right. You guessed it. We're going to do some math and movement. So with our math and movement today, we're going to do a pattern workout. Did you hear that word pattern? That's right. We're going to do a pattern workout and we're going to count to 20 while we're doing our AB pattern. And for the A's, we're going to do a jumping jack. And for the B's, we're going to do a right handed punch. So our pattern is going to be jumping jack, right hand and punch. So are you ready? We're going to count all the way to 20 while we're doing our pattern workout. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 1920. Super workout with our patterns, guys. Awesome job. Now we're going to get ready. Let's look at our learning goal for today. It says, I can extend a repeating pattern by adding at least two completed repetitions. So when we say we can extend a repeating pattern by adding at least two completed repetitions, we're going to be looking at extending, we're going to be looking at repeating, and making sure that we have two of those repeating parts. So our materials for today are going to be paper, pencil, and if you have three different colored crayons or colored pencils, whatever you have at home that you can use, that is going to be great. Let's look at this pattern. We're going to start with a yellow cube. So I have yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue. So now in our pattern, we have yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue. So we have a pattern that is repeating, and our pattern repeats because the core, which is the repeating part, which is our yellow blue, is repeated over and over again. We have yellow blue here, yellow blue here, yellow blue here. So now when we look at this pattern, and sometimes we'll, you'll hear that pattern referred to as AB because it has two parts. The A is yellow and the B is blue. So we could also go A, B, A, B, A, B for our pattern. But today, remember, we're talking about extending our pattern. And when we extend our pattern, we're going beyond our pattern and making it continue to go on. But by doing that, we add the core. And so today we're talking about extending it using two cores at least to extend it. So our core, remember, is our yellow, blue. So remember, we're going to continue our pattern. So we end it with blue. So what would be next? Oh, did you shout out yellow? Correct. So it's going to be yellow. What would be next on our pattern? Yes, blue. So we've added one core or one part that repeats. What will we add next? Another yellow blue. So now we have extended our pattern and we extended our pattern by adding two cores. And now we're going to look at our complete pattern as it is extended. It is yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue. So we have just extended our two color pattern or our AB pattern by adding two cores to it. All right. Let's look at another. So this time I'm going to draw our pattern. So I'm going to start it on my whiteboard. I have a triangle, a square, and a circle. 
you can do this along with me if you'd like. So you have a triangle, a square, and a circle. All right, I'm going to do the same thing. A triangle, a square, and a circle. So now my pattern is triangle, square, circle. Triangle, square, circle. What would be next in our pattern? Oh, did you say triangle? That's right. It would be a triangle. And then it's going to be what? A square. And then a circle. Now, when we look at our pattern here, we're looking to figure out what the core is because that's our repeating part of our pattern. And it was triangle, square, circle, triangle, square, circle, triangle, square, circle. So when I look at this pattern, the core for our pattern is what? It's our triangle, square, circle. That's what we see over again. And we added one core right here with triangle, square, circle. So what will we have to add to make our second repetition that we have extended our pattern? Shout it out. That's right. It's a triangle, square, circle. So we would add triangle, square, circle. So we would add triangle, triangle square, circle to our pattern. So now our entire pattern continues with the same. Great job so far, guys. Let's see if we can look at another. So this is a picture pattern. And our picture pattern has a picture of a girl, then a boy, and a boy. A girl, a boy, and a boy, and a girl. So now let's look at our, our pattern here. We have a girl, boy, boy. Girl, boy, boy, girl. Hmm. Now this pattern has something different going on. What does it have? It has two of the same thing right beside each other. So we might call this pattern an ABB pattern. You'll learn more about that a little later this week. So when we look at this pattern, what do you think would be next in our pattern? Would it be another girl or would it be a boy? Did you say a boy? That's right. So now we have girl, boy, boy, girl, boy, boy, girl, boy. What would be next? That's right, another boy. And then what would be next? A girl. So look at there. We have the core for our pattern. And our core is going to be girl, boy, boy. So that's our core. So we know we have to continue our pattern with what? What do we have to do to finish up our pattern? Let's see. Boy, boy. Super job, guys. Super job. So now we've extended our pattern and we have gone and created two repetitions after it. And so now we can see our full pattern. Okay, let's look at this pattern. Now, this pattern has apples and pencils in it. So let's look at this pattern. We have, again, we have two items in our pattern. So it's going to be A's and B's that we're looking at when we get ready to transfer our patterns into something different. So just remember that information. So now we have apple, apple, pencil, apple, apple, pencil. What do you think would be next in our pattern? Did you say apple? Yes. So we have apple, apple, pencil. Apple, apple, pencil, apple. Did we complete our entire core or did we just add one thing? That's right. In order to extend our pattern, we have to add a full part of the repeating part of the pattern, which is our core, and we have to add two of those. So what else do we need to add right now? Yes, an apple and a pencil to finish up our core. So we need an apple and a pencil because our core in this picture is apple, apple, pencil, okay? So now we've added one repetition. 
what do we need to add now to make sure that we complete our pattern of extending it with two complete repetitions. That's right, we've got to add another apple apple pencil. There it is. So now we've extended our pattern by adding two repetitions or two of the core, which is the part of our pattern that repeats. Okay, let's review. We've been talking about extending our patterns and adding on the core to that pattern. We also have been talking about the core. So you need to know those vocabulary words for when we're doing our patterns because we're doing repeating patterns, which means that we're extending them with the core and that is the part of the pattern that repeats. So all of those words we use today in our learning goal, which is I can extend a repeating pattern by adding at least two repetitions. Let's take a look at a practice. This is our practice and it says, look at each pattern. Extend the pattern by drawing what comes next for two complete repetitions. So you can either print off the practice worksheet or you can just do it on your own on your paper. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna work with you on my whiteboard while you're doing this first practice problem. So let's see, it says triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle. So let's see if Ms. Thomas Moore can draw that on her board. Triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle. So that's what our paper already has on it. So now we have to extend our pattern. So let's see if I can extend our pattern by what will come next. I'm going to use a different color so that you can see where I'm extending it. So what would be next? Triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle. That's right. Okay, what would be next? You draw it on your paper. That's right, let me see it. It's a triangle. And what's the next thing we're gonna do? A circle. So now we have completed extending our, our pattern. Triangle circle, triangle circle, triangle circle, triangle circle. Awesome job, because the triangle circle is our core. It's the part of our pattern that continues to repeat. Super job, guys, super job. You did an amazing job today, kindergartners, with patterns. I want you to take some time today to do your pattern workout, maybe count all the way to 50 doing your pattern workout, I want you to work on your practice set, do your best with it, because all the practice you can do will only make you better. I hope that you are doing great things at home, sharing what you're learning with your family, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.